All right, just four days to go now until Election Day in Michigan remains a high priority for both President Trump and Joe Biden. The president made a stop in Waterford this afternoon. We'll hear what he had to say in just a few minutes. But first, uh, let's get to Rod Maloney with a look at the all out blitz of campaigning. Michigan is getting over the weekend and into next week, too, Rod. Yeah, Kimberly, David, you know, uh, we're in the gun lap here, right? The, the last time around the loop here, and that's exactly what the candidates are doing because they want Michigan's 16 electoral college votes. Saturday, Donald Trump Jr. will visit a Davis and Gunsight manufacturer at 11 a.m. Then it's off to a Traverse City boat dealership at 1.30. A few minutes after that, candidate Joe Biden himself will join former President Barack Obama at a still undisclosed Flint location. They expect it to be a car rally, but will also have a live stream. At 5.45, they come to Detroit and hold yet another appearance. The president himself will return to Michigan Monday for two stops, one in Traverse City, and then end the campaign in Grand Rapids as he did four years ago. Now this election, as in last, polls show the Democrat with a sizable lead across the state and nation. Local 4 pollster Richard Zuba's numbers show that, but he believes the mad scramble here matters when it comes to turnout. Well, I think one of the things we're seeing in the Biden campaign is they are doing the nuts and bolts of good campaigning. They are disciplined in message, and right now they know not to take anything for granted. That's why they're coming into Michigan. National Republican Party Chairperson Ronna Romney McDaniel believes the pollsters are looking to make polls say anything a client desires. She believes Michigan will back the president again, just as it did four years ago, but it's going to be a squeaker. So what I'm looking at is the data right now. We are very close in Michigan and we're going to need a strong election day turnout for Republicans to win this state. We know that, so Republicans have to get out and vote on election day. So here we are as at every election. It's turnout, 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 getting the base to the polls. That's what they're trying to do here over the last couple of days. Back to you. Okay. Rod, thank you. Now to President Trump's stop in Waterford today. The president spoke to a large crowd at Oakland County International Airport. He again criticized Governor Whitmer on coronavirus restrictions with the crowd again chanting, lock her up. We got to get our governor to open up our state here, don't we? You know? Oh, don't worry. On November 4th, they'll announce all these states, all these Democrat-run states will be open. Not me. He's saying not me there. The President Trump, uh, he did not say he wanted the governor locked up. 2.6 million Michiganders have already voted in the 2020 general election.